Very good. Pleased to say that Harley Bird, the voice of Peppa Pig, and uh, Moenna Banks, the voice of Mummy Pig, um, join us now. What welcome, makes welcome. me laugh, actually, is that uh, it, now Peppa Pig has got to a festival before you have. So true. Um, but I'm going to Coachella in four days. Oh, in California. Nice. Yeah. So it's you're following excited. hot off the heels of Peppa Pig oh, when it yes. comes to festivals. <laughs> What's great about this, um, and, and it's, um, it's actually being sold um, quite cleverly um, as an introduction to, to the cinema for very exactly. young children. Yeah, that's it, it's, it's the Peppa Pig cinema experience. And we actually we went to the, a screening of it, at which there were lots of parents invited, lots of little kids. And what was brilliant about it, because I remember taking my kids when they were little to the cinema, just kind of constantly, sorry, I've just got to oh, go out. Totally. Yeah, yeah. Constantly just Nothing food worse. in their mouths the whole time so they didn't scream. But this is it, it's, it's actively encouraged, is that is that small kids go and they can run around and kind of get involved. Mm. And, we were yeah. talking before, there was, there was a big difference. There were some kids who were kind of running up and down the aisles, so going great. to the screen, like jumping, just really getting involved. And, and you were sat next to a little... Yeah, yeah, because it's really interactive. Yeah. You yeah. Went, yeah. I was little sat with a baby who just could, wasn't even blinking, like, so focused Mesmerized on the film. Yeah. The, I mean, there is something really? about Pepper, there really is. So this is um, ten five-minute stories, yeah. if you like, and they're all interlinked with kind of these moments of where well, you can sing and you can interact. Yeah. So it really keeps these children entertained, and it's not too long. No, exactly. It's kind of seeing how long, how long you know, that the children could last. And we were, we were really, kind of really kind of thrilled, actually, that they did, because they, as soon as they sort of run around and then another episode comes on and then they watch it and then they're singing and dancing and yeah. they're, they're sort of... Children are on singing songs and encouraging the little ones to get involved. And it's really, yeah, it's really sweet, It must be actually. lovely for you guys to, um, to watch something like that and to see the reaction. It's all, you know, so you, you know because you've been doing it for you know, sort of years and years, <laughs> 15 years. Uh, yeah. But, um, but to, to sit there and see something, you've sat in a, in a voiceover booth and then think, right, OK, this is the reaction. Mm -hmm. It's exactly right because we, we actually don't get to see each other very often. I we see, get to see each other once a year. Once a year, see my but husband. For Poulton's Park. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, yeah, and I've oh. seen met my husband about five times, which is recipe for a perfect marriage. Obviously. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we don't we don't all get to get get together, and and it's, so it's really nice to do. This. And then it's also nice because uh, you know we do we record separately, and so you see your bit, you read your bit, so it's Mummy Pig or Madame Gazelle or whatever I'm doing, and then to suddenly see it kind of put together on a big screen, it's a yeah. real yeah, it's really exciting. I think we all love it so much. And also. It Thank you on behalf of parents <laughs> everywhere because the one like Peppa Pig is brilliant, but the thing that drives you mad is how short they are. So yeah. finally, to have an hour of uninterrupted Peppa Pig is just wonderful. Before we, uh, it was all worked out. But I think there's 22 hours of yeah. Peppa Pig all put together. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you can sit them in front of that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. <laughs> have a bit of a snooze. Yeah. Um, for you, can you can you still believe that after all this time? that it, 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 it's still such a big part of your life? Yes, I mean, I, I started when I was five. This is, I think, my 13th year of doing it. Um, it's just so normal for me to do it. Does it get harder? I mean, you're lucky you've still got the voice, really. I mean, not harder, like, a little bit more difficult just because it's such a change now, because I've yeah. just completely matured from being five, of mm, course. Of course. Um, I think you're, really, you're such a skillful voice artist. I think it, it's, what it's you. like doing any of the voices, you know, we often don't sound like the people that we're doing, so Harley can do Pepper as, as she, much as she can do. I wish I sounded things. like Madame Gazelle. Oh, Madame Gazelle. She sound, yes. How <laughs> does Madame nowhere, Gazelle sound? Madame Gazelle, come on, sing the Bing Bong song with me. Oh. Come on, Phil. <laughs> come on. From nowhere in particular. <laughs> Madame Gazelle, yeah. Do you get asked to do the voice a lot? Does that, I mean... Madame Gazelle, yeah, and... I think that Mummy Pig, I don't particularly sound like Mummy Pig, so you wouldn't sort of know it was me. Yeah. And but, but Richard, who's Daddy Pig, yeah. really sounds oh, like yeah. Daddy, Daddy Pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's quite, you know, when children kind of, their parents go, that's Daddy Pig or that's Mummy Pig, kids are like, what? Well, what are you it's talking about? It's disconcerting yeah. because they sort of hear the voice and then it's coming out of yeah. something yes. completely different. Yes, so. yeah, well, we try and keep the magic, you know. Yeah. It's kind of all right to do phone, you know, to leave a phone message or something like that, mm. but yeah, a little bit disconcerting. I, I did yeah. TIE at school, which is theatre and education, so we went round to loads of different schools and performed, like, an hour, hour play to them. And at the end of that, people were like, do you know what? She sounds so much like Peppa Pig. And <laughs> really? I never, oh. have oh. never have that. Never have that. How funny. Oh. And you are busy at the moment because you've, I mean, you had your GCSEs, but now your A-levels yes, are next, A -levels so you're busy well. with that. Are they next year, your exams? Yes, I, th I think so. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, they are, they are. Well, we've are. seen it so lovely because you've been in so many times. So we've seen you <laughs> through all of your exams and yeah. But A-levels was the last time. They went mm -hmm. really well. And uh, and so uh, so so now it's... Uh, 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 the GCSEs was the yep. last time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's the A-levels. Um, Busy working. And as far as, uh, as, far as <laughs> you're concerned, mm. I mean, th this must something like this must be a really lovely change because we've seen you, obviously, a very different role in Skins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah, yes. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. quite a different yeah. You get recognised if you're on the tube. Do, pe do, do people recognise you for? Do you know what? It has, that has exactly that has happened. That I I've sort of been sat there, and it was the kind of it, there, there was there was a group of teenagers and some and some little kids, and the parents were going, "That's Mummy Pig," and the teenagers at the same time they're going, "That's <laughs> that's the mum from Skins." <laughs> off her face, but yeah, yeah. So it's it's uh, yeah, no, it's, it's quite a funny quite a funny um, combination. It's a combination. You know what I'm really proud of. of yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and are you are you writing at the moment? Because I am. Oh, yes, you? I'm writing a drama for um, BBC about surrogacy. Right. And um, another, I'm doing adapting a Nick Hornby novel as well. Oh, right. Wow. Yeah. yeah, Funny Girl. There's, um, there was a poll, I don't know whether you saw this, we, uh, we were looking at this this morning, poll by Populous. Um, this was ahead of the 2017 general election. Found that 93% uh, of 18 to 24 year olds could identify Peppa Pig. Um, and uh, compared to 78% <laughs> who knew who Jeremy Corbyn was, and uh, and uh, at night it even beat uh, Prime Minister uh, Theresa May at 90 percent. <laughs> wow, so that's a powerful little pig. Yes. Wow. Yeah. But she's not the only pepper in your life because you actually do have two yeah, pigs. Two pet pigs. I live on a farm, so. So you've got Pepper. And yeah, and Pepper George. and George. <laughs> how and then we've got all the chickens. I know. How weird is that? <laughs> so perfect. All the chickens. Yeah. She's living the dream. Yeah. Living the dream. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you very you much Thank indeed. You. So, uh, Pepper Pig Festival of Fun in <laughs> cinemas from Friday. Perfect time for Easter, and there's an album as well. Yes. So you're the busy perfect. recording the, the oh, Pepper Pig album. So much fun. So much fun. I think you'll love it. I think I will. <laughs> I think I will. It'll be played a lot in my house, that's yes. for sure. Um, lovely to see both Thank of you. you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.